Hi, I'm Sammy Barefoot Groove back again. I'm gonna show you guys how I convert my 14 inch floor tom into a huge sounding 808 kick drum. Check this out. And here is my Gretsch Catalina Club 14 by 14 floor tom. And right now it's set up as a floor tom. So uh, these are the tools I'm gonna use to convert it into a kick drum. Uh, notice I've got the uh, pearl mount here. This comes separately. And then these legs and this riser here, those come together as a package. You can purchase that and I'll link that in the description below. As well as the Roland single trigger here. Now this is actually, let me zoom in, that's actually uh, for the floor tom or any drum with a rim. There's another model for actual kick drums that fits over the wooden hoop. And then of course a drum key and laps, but not least, the mesh head. got my mesh head installed and on the other side you don't have to do this I just think it looks neat um, I've put a head with a kick port on the other side now this has nothing to do with the sound of the drum in this case the mesh head leaves the drum basically silent especially when combined with kick and cymbals um, you're not gonna really hear the sound of this as much as you're gonna hear the triggered sound once we apply the trigger and the octopad to create the nice 808 sound coming through the speakers so this is just aesthetically pleasing you know it looks more like a kick drum this way you don't have to do that you can leave it open you can leave the resonant head that you already had on your drum you can add another mesh head do whatever you want um, a clear head might be cool so you can put a light inside of it um, although with the white coated head um, a light inside does actually uh, add a cool effect next we want to make sure that the uh, leg holder on top of the drum is nice and tight if this is loose then it's going to make a lot of noise every time you have impact uh, from the bass drum beater onto the head then we're going to add our legs down here onto the bottom brackets. Just slide right in there. See that? Tighten it up. The other side. They have these little memory locks. I don't find them to be very useful. Um, maybe uh, if you have tried this product before and you found a good use for those memory locks, tell me about it in the comments below because right now um, they just add a little weight. Um, they don't really make a big difference as to the positioning of where I put the drum. Uh, Want to make sure that they're obviously not angled in like that, like a nice and flat. Or um, I should say position them in a way that the drum can sit nice and flat. We're going to turn it back around and add our Pearl ISS mount, which looks like this. And that's going to attach right to the rim here. See that that sits on there. And we're going to tighten that up with our drum key. Little pro tip, do not try to hold the drum by this ISS mount. Uh, it slips off uh, if you're hanging on to it like a handle. But I haven't had it come off while uh, playing. So uh, while I will say it's great for performance, it's not a good transport mechanism. Don't hold it by this and try to carry the drum or you will drop your drum. 
I may or may not have experienced that. This is the other piece that comes in the pearl. <laughs> this comes in the pearl jungle conversion kit, which allows you to turn any kick drum into. I'm sorry, any floor tom into a kick drum. I believe they recommend it to 16 and 18 inch floor toms, but it does work for the 14 inch floor tom as well. This fits on there like that. So that now we've got a kick drum. And last but not least, I'll add my trigger right here on the side. I like to put it right in the center of the drum, right there positioned between those two lugs. Make sure you get it on nice and tight. We don't want that to slip during performance. Now let's plug it in and see how it sounds. All right, here I've got a little mini setup. My hats, snare, and kick coming through the QSC-10. Got the 808 called up in the Octopad. Now here's something that'll help if you're triggering. You're gonna wanna go ahead and hit Menu, State Instrument, Enter. And then the last thing I've played, which is the pad. Okay, and see it shows right there. These correspond to the pads on the Octopad. So that's the first trigger, or the kick trigger. And then uh, I selected the 808 kick. Now it says head and rim. Uh, that's not necessary because again, we're using the single trigger. So that's not gonna respond to the rim, just the head. Um, and that being said, we're just using a regular mono instrument cable. If you're using a dual trigger uh, that will sense a difference in the head and the rim, you'll want to make sure you're using a stereo cable. So here's a demonstration. And uh, here's a little groove to go along with that. So here's the setup. Got the floor tom converted into kick drum. Coming through the QSC-8 there, sitting on my cajon, snare, hi-hats. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to turn your 14 inch kick tom into a fat sounding 808 kick drum. Of course, you can substitute that mesh head for another uh, acoustic head, regular drum head, and actually turn your floor tom into a kick drum. But this way, it actually becomes an electronic kick. And uh, sometimes that's useful as a primary kick sound or as an additional kick sound. Just depends on uh, what situation I'm in and what I'm doing. Hope you found this useful once again. I'm Sammy Barefoot Groove. Stay barefoot, stay groovy, and uh, if you're not already subscribed, please click sub subscribe, hit the bell, and leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you do with triggering. Tell me if you're using an octopad and what kinds of things you like to use it for in your live setups or recordings. Thanks.